And we're back for another episode. In this episode, we're going to be getting our Yoichi Bow Zeta. So I finally finished the light farm to get the 12 Mahatmas. And I got a big message across the stream, which you can see in the stream highlight, basically saying it's now finished. So it says, the weapon pulsates with a sense of conviction. Soul resonance with Mahatma of fish now complete. So I don't know if I'm supposed to talk to this guy or what, but I'm, I'm done. So... Let's see. Well, 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 you've come for my wares, haven't you? So I thought, so I thought. Well, produce my payment. I'll happily provide Mahatma for whatever Zodiac weapon you wish. However, I've already finished. I'm afraid you've exhausted my supply of Mahatma for that particular arm. And for that, you may color me deeply impressed. So there are no more varieties of Mahatma that can be affixed to your arm. Once you have achieved full soul resonance with the final piece, return to Jalzan in Hurst Mill. So let's do that now. So we finished the Mahatma farming. We've got all 12 Mahatma done. So let's return to Jalzan and let's get our Zeta. Let's just get it over with. And I've already said as well that I will not be doing this again. You know, one and done. I am finished with the Zodiac weapon forever. I will not do it again. I'm, I will do obviously whatever new Zodiac or equivalent is for the expansion. But I have absolutely no intention to ever do this grind again for any other class in um, A Realm Reborn. It was not worth the amount of time it took to finish. But either way, I'm happy it's done. And I have put it on to YouTube as well from starting the Relic Quest all the way till now. I've recorded basically every second of it. So uh, hopefully you've enjoyed the A Relic Reborn series. Hopefully it's been very informative for you and enjoyable in case you don't play Bard or in case you just don't play the game generally. And um, what's going to happen now is my Yoichi bow is going to be upgraded from item level 125 to 135. And it's going to be all glowy and so on. So we are done, finally. I'm so happy we're finally done with this. Really, really happy. Oh, and this weird big egg is for the um, Easter event, which I need to do in an upcoming episode. But anyway, so here is... Uh, Jao Zan is around here, so let's talk to him now. Let's see what he has to say. The Vital Title. So in order to receive the quest of Vital Title, you must be equipped with a Zodiac Wickham Zeta. Paladins must be equipped with blah 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 Zeta Zeta. Okay, so that quest I can't do until I get the Zeta. So let's now... Okay, here it is. This is a new option. It wasn't there before. Zodiac Weapon Awakening. So does Sentinence stir now within your Zodiac Weapon? Then the time is nigh to end its dreaming. So awaken the Yoichi Bow. Yes. Where is the Zodiac Weapon? We cannot awaken the Sentience within unless it is in your possession. So, please ensure that the Zodiac weapon you wish to awaken is placed in your armory chest or inventory before speaking with Jalzan. Okay, so it's as before, I need to just switch to some random other class just so I'm not wearing the thing. Why is Mifri topless? Okay, okay, because I upgraded that before. Save, save. And, uh, yeah, so let's try again. So, Zodiac weapon and awakening. Yes. Yes. Okay, here we go. So now I can trade over the... Because that's the issue. Like, you can't trade it if you're wearing it. So now I can trade it. Hand over. So upon waking your Zodiac weapon... Sorry. Upon waking, your Zodiac weapon will truly be the finest arm and fierce ally in all the realm. If you are firm in your purpose, let us begin. So as you can see, the stats is also will be upgraded to 135. So you can see I go from 51 dexterity to 57. 67 vitality from 60 and also my accuracy will be 48 and my crit will be 42. So let's enhance So I confess my friend I have awaited your return most eagerly even holding your weapon in my hands I can sense the soul within pulses more strongly than ever before If I heard all that rightly, Mifri, your weapon's ready and raring to wake up, meaning it's time for the grand finale, eh, Jalzan? I am unclear on what part I must play, Geralt. I have made ready my alchemic 
supplies for the occasion, but I do not know what you would have me concoct, nor for that matter why. All right, well, you remember the book of Never Dark? Though there's precious few whatever of it, sorry, whatever heard of it, tis a fact that its pages hold the last truth of the Zodiac weapons. Truth? What do you mean? In ages past, several monks known as the Zodiac would appear in our world, but when they did, a hero wielding a shining weapon would arise to strike the fiends down. Do you know that particular tale? There are a few who know it better. Um, I, you speak of the Song of the Zodiac Braves. I began my research precisely because I thought it accounts of legendary weapons held a grain of truth. Ah, uh, but did you know the weapons weren't uh, wreathed in the light the Braves slew the fiends? Aye, wasn't till those arms tasted of demons' blood that sentience blossomed deep within, and they burst forth in a brilliant halo. Tis how the Zodiac weapons were truly born, but that bit of the tale got lost as it was handed down through the ages. Ah, very good, Geralt. Very good indeed. We have no demon's blood to awaken Mithri's arm, but we can mimic it with a... A uh, quasi soul potion thick with aether. You're a quick witted one. Make no mistake. Well, now we're all caught up. Let's give it a try. Awesome. So we're finally at this point. We're finally done. So, there, that ought to be thick enough coat for my demon's blood potion. The rest I shall leave to you, Jerol. Seeing as there ain't demons of the Zodiac around to fight, I'll just have to mimic that battle with the flames on me forge and the pounding of me hammer. Now, let's uh, perfect the old relic what we began with so long ago. Yeah, we're like a year and a half ago is when we started this relic quest as Bard. Can't believe it's been a year and a half already. They definitely didn't make it easy, that's for sure. Uh, the weapons responding to me touch like a wonder. I can feel the soul inside trembling, like it's aching to wake up. Let, let's uh, give it what it wants. So, we've done it. Recreated a legendary arm exactly as it was. Sense of self and all. Ye gads, uh, come if we take your, up your weapon. Nice. It's a proper victory music for this. It's regal purple, Mifri style as well, which is awesome. That's a really <laughs> cheesy smile. <laughs> yeah, I think Mifri's smiling, I can't really tell. Yeah, there we go. Behold, the legend made manifest in all its glory. None but the realm's most valiant adventurer, her most masterful blacksmith and her most accomplished alchemist could have recreated this true heir to the weapons of yore. Nay, here we have forged a new legend, a weapon beyond all compare. The ages will echo with its name, the Yoichi Bo Zeta. That's awesome. Nice. So I got the achievement, the letter Z. Oh, and here's no leg day back again. So let's uh, equip the Zeta. Right. So that's done. So now item level 128. Um, I actually need to upgrade my belt as well, which I'll do in a sec. So it says here the next uh, quest is called The Vital Title. Uh, something seems to be giving Jalzan pause.
So, my dear, dear girl, thanks to you I have developed my soul infusion methodology and seen a legendary arm reborn in all its glory. For all this and more, you have my eternal gratitude. I had devoted my life to just these two goals, yet neither could I have accomplished alone. Though I have risked life and limb, verily twas right I should come to Eorzea. Now, one matter still puzzles me still, however. Why was the Book of Never Dark, a priceless resource, never completed nor circulated? If I have learned anything by now, tis that Geralt could shed some light on the matter. Come, my friend, let us make one last journey across the village green, for the sake of knowledge itself. All right. Okay, let's go. Let's speak to Geralt. See what Geralt has to say. So, might be as I had one too many last night, but aren't we done with the Zodiac weapons? Why is it you keep hounding me like a pair of bloody old debt collectors? We had merely come with a question about the Book of Neverdark, Geralt. Where did you lay hands upon this unfinished home, pray tell? Uh, well, Rowena's place, of course. I came across it while I was picking up the rest of the Trials of the Braves. Rowena said she'd only sell the tome to a collector what's paid a king's ransom for it. Till I threatened to wed her again, that is. Well, you can bet she handed it over in a hurry after that. Is that so? Um, any road, there's Prince of Plenty of the Trials, but I've heard nothing about another copy of the book of Neverdark. Like as not, that's why you never saw it in Radzathan. See, the Trials is a load of scattered tales about the ancient heroes gathered and bound up in a book. Tis admired as a work of fancy, just as much as an account of the ancients. But this book of Neverdark, well, it's just raw facts. Seems like it were added to the set after everything else, and you can tell that no editor's pen ever touched it. It is really just a treatise on the Zodiac Braves. So we owe your gratitude to a scholar. Was there aught by which to identify the author? I would remember him and so learn by his example. He's like, I know. Uh, Hells, Jalzan, I don't. Well, now that you mention it, there is a name written here. Looks like Ulfalam. Ulf Ulfalam, you say? He was the father of my line, an artisan famed for his pursuit of knowledge. Well, I'll be thrice damned. If the man's your ancestor, might be as you'd like to hear what I've found scratched at the back of the book. Just a moment. After years of careful study, I come to realize that I, old fur lamb, cannot recreate an arm of Zodiac Braves. I record my own findings here that men with an ambition may follow in my footsteps. To the one who succeeds in bringing forth a weapon of the ancient heroes, I leave my eternal admiration and the title Starforger, Bringer of Radiance. Gods be good, though I knew it not. I have dreamed the same dream as my forefather. Everything from my encounter with tales of the Braves to my choice of studies must have been written in the stars. In sooth, twas right that I journeyed countless marms and weathered stormy seas to come to Eorzea. Hearken to me, spirit of Ulfalam. Rest well, knowing that I, Jalzan, accept the title of Starforger from you. Uh, Oi, hold on for one sodding second. Might be as you're the one who came up with the tale of the legendary weapons, but who was it that made the bloody thing? Me, that's who. And who was it what found the book of Neverdark? Poor old unthanked Geralt. The title is mine, fair and square, even if there ain't a single gill in it. Gill? The title cannot be measured, not even in gold, sir. "'Tis a priceless honour, granted by my ancestor to the one who fulfilled his dream, me. "'The title is mine, by blood and merit both.' 
like hells it is. Do you know what a smithy does? We work a bit of our soul into each blade and kettle we forge. I've sacrificed a good slice of my own bleeding life to the Zodiac weapon, and I ain't just about to let you walk away with the title. So I guess they're not friends anymore. You insolent cur. I had thought you were but rough around the edges, but I see now that I was right about you from the start. You are the greatest boar in all the lands. Uh, bah, you bleeding coot. Just... You're just stubborn in your old age. The title should go to someone what's got a future. And if you can't see that, then you're the biggest arse around. <laughs> Lol. Lol. That's really funny. Oh dear. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no leg day is getting his um, junk pounded. Anyway, let's go back to Jalzan. So, we that encounter has quite sapped my strength, though not my sense of outrage. I can scarce believe that boar would not yield so much as an ilm. I simply cannot abide by the thought of Geralt taking that title. I had thought to journey homewards, but now I see I must stay and make him listen to reason. There are far worse places to call home than Hearst Mill, I suppose, and I have after all developed a taste of Eorzean cuisine. Of course, my continued tenure here would be all the better if you visited now and again. I should like to learn from your adventures and would be happy to enhance your arm through the power of materia. Now, Mifri, go forth with your zodiac weapon and with it create your own legends. Okay, let's complete. Let's see. Zodiac weapons, the saga ends. Woohoo! And we got the title, Home of the Brave. So, let's take a look at the achievements. So, we've now passed 5,000 achievement points. We have 5,030. I got the Zeta and the title Z. So, that's pretty awesome. And I also finished that achievement as well. So, let's equip the title. To equip titles, you open up your character menu, click on profile, go to title. We have a lot of titles on Mifri. There we go, Z. And let's take a look at the weapon. Wow, look at that. Finally done. Let's get rid of this interface. So what do you guys think? I think it looks pretty cool. And it's done. Never again. Thank you, Square Enix, for the, uh, for the quest line. For the one-time quest line, for the never to be requited quest line, for the oh my god I'm finally done quest line. So that's it. So anyway guys, um, that's it. A Relic Reborn finished, Zodiac Weapon finished, and that's it. So we'll see in the expansion if there's going to be a new Zodiac Weapon. So anyway guys, that's it for this episode. Thank you for watching, and as always, goodbye from me, and goodbye from Mifri.